What is going on YouTube? It is Baku Sky here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be talking about the Nothing Manacles. And I made this build. It took me a little bit. But I finally made the build. <sighs> and I am so, so happy. So happy with this build. So we'll start with the subclass, right? So we're going Nova Warp. This will make sense later, I promise. Scatter Grenade, obviously. Chaos Accelerant. Has Subunitions, Track to nearby targets, and then Child of the Old Gods. We're using a Healing Rift, so we'll be getting our Melee and Grenade Energy back. Then we're rocking Echo of Secession. Fi Finisher Final Blows create a burst of Void Damage that causes nearby combatants to become Volatile. Defeating Volatile targets create a Void Breach. Defeating targets with Grenades grants Volatile Rounds. That's obviously feeding into the build. And then Finisher Final Blows grant Invisibility. That kind of plays into the Echo of Secession. Cessation. Ses Words. As far as stats go, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. 100 resilience, 80 recovery, 100 discipline, and 50 intellect. We're going to be using Fun Web and utilizing it as our void weapon when we get volatile rounds. Also, I have volatile flow, prismatic transfer, and bricks from beyond. On our helmet, we're rocking power preservation. That's why I'm using Nova Warp so I can create orbs for my teammates. Ashes to assets, obviously, grenade kills, giving my super back faster, and then void siphon. It's pretty cut and dry. We got grenade kickstart, we got bolstering detonation, impact induction, then we're going charged up, concussive dampener, void reserves. This is kind of like whatever, you don't have. Uh, void weapon surge, innervation, and stacks on stacks. And then we got bomber, time dilation, and then empowered finish. So finish your final blows. Grant me a temporary armor charge, and it kind of plays into, you know, what the weapons do. So it's kind of like a support slash DPS build. The power weapon that I'm going to be using for this video really doesn't matter, as uh, I will be taking this through a Legend Lost Sector, just to kind of show what the build does, how it works. Alright, so we will be doing an 1830 Lost Sector. Of course, the difficulty is going to be a little bit easier because I am like 1823 or something like that however um this build i will say is going to be more potent Ooh, on a fire team the mcdonald's fry slap though but i can show you guys the ability regions picking up over power the potency of the vol uh, volatile rounds get that. I don't think I it was able to put it on the knife. Mamba Mia. I'm gonna pop that again. There's the knight. He has a solar shield on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed off of him for a second, get my abilities back. I mean, much like any build, this build is just feeding off one thing off of the other, um, trying to make it as potent as possible. And, I mean, of course, like, not every build will be perfect, but, I mean, that's the, the beauty of build crafting, I think, is, uh, figuring out what works, what doesn't work. And these are more, of uh, educational videos, because I've seen videos to where people would take my ideas and make it better, or make it fit their playstyle, and I think that's perfectly okay. You know, it doesn't hurt my feelings if people don't 
like the builds that I make or think that they're necessarily good, but I make fun and enjoyable builds for myself and I like to just, you know, spread the love to people. There are some builds that are just cracked out of their minds though. And Actually didn't get Volta runs off that. Interesting. Go ahead and let that happen. Get volatile runs off that. Mamma Mia. <laughs> He's cheating. Nerf it, Bungie. Nerf it. Unsuspecting, unstoppable in the wild. Just call me Baku Erwin. Do that, get some chip damage. That's gonna charge me like a rhinoceros. Doesn't even make sense, Baku. This finisher. Go oh, invis. Oh, I got lucky with some heavy there. More heavy here. Nice, nice, nice. Yo, chill, bro. Chill. Oh shit, did he? I'm running, running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not, I'm just kidding. Oh, there's an unstoppable right there, bro. Oh, shit. How do you guys feel about them making Lost Sectors more difficult? I think it is a very healthy change. I think that Legendary Lost Sectors and Master Lost Sectors should be some difficult content to get through to make the exotics really feel like you earned them. Let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about that though. Everyone's opinion matters and I don't really hate on people for having different opinions other than myself, so. Yeah, come on. Alright, now that I got him out of the way, I can really focus this boss now. Hello? Ah! Alright, let's go ahead and pop the super here. And again, this build is way more potent with teammates, right? Because with teammates, you'll be able to create the orbs of power, um, like the ones that I'm generating now. It's more so for like a support lock build. And I will be making other warlock builds. I am a warlock main. And um, I'm just always trying to build craft with warlocks. And as I said before, some of the builds don't work the way I want them to. But right now, this build isn't working the way I intended it to work because this isn't a build for like solo content like I wouldn't take this into a flawless dungeon 
I'm sure that others could and do modify it to make it to where it would be potent for that. Um, but this specific build is more aimed towards uh, teammates and keeping volatile rounds active at all times. And that is the build. If you guys like this video, please drop a like, drop a sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one.